Hey, this is Sue Kaufman. I'm a physical educator and personal trainer, and I'm here to you here to talk to you today in part two of my video series called Trick Yourself Thin. Last time we talked about the mindless margin, and that is those 100 to 300 calories that you can eat one to 300 too many or one to 300 too less each day and not really even realize it. So we're working on some tips and tricks to help you eat 100 to 300 calories less most days instead of 100 to 300 calories more most days. And if it's on the more side, more often than not, you can gain up to 10 to 30 pounds in a year. And I'm guessing you don't want to do that. So maybe you'd rather maintain or or keep or lose weight even and this is a way to trick yourself so you don't have to feel deprived so there have been studies done and uh, the book that I read that talked about this study is called mindless eating and there was a study done in a cafeteria where people had an ice cream freezer right in the middle of the cafeteria it was in the same place and the only difference was some days they left the, the freezer door open and some days they left it closed and believe it or not the days that it was open 30 percent of the people in the cafeteria ate ice cream the days that it was closed and all those people had to do was lift the lid to get the ice cream only 14 percent of the people ate ice cream so what does that mean for you that means if you have to work harder to get your food you'll eat less of it so here's an example here's my little candy dish filled with chocolate morsels if this is out on your counter, you have to, every time you pass by it, you have to tell yourself, I'm not going to eat any. And pretty soon you get worn down and you eat them. And pretty soon it's empty and somebody refills it or you refill it. And then you eat more because you're just kind of mindlessly going by and saying, oh, I'm just going to eat a few, just going to eat a few, just going to eat a few. And pretty soon you've eaten a lot. And instead of putting them out on the counter in a bowl, you can keep them in your cupboard way back here where you have to walk over, open the cupboard, get them out, take off the, the um, clothespin, open and pour them in your hand. That's a lot more work than just grabbing them in your candy bag. <clears throat> so chances are you're not going to do that much work to go get them. Plus it gives you a minute or two to think about whether you really want them or not. Believe it or not, I bought these, <clears throat> excuse me, I bought these to make a recipe and I didn't make it and I left it in the cupboard in the back closed. It was in there for over a month before anybody even opened them and started to eat them. So if they're out of sight and they're harder to get, you won't eat as many of them. So what does that mean for you? Well, you can rearrange your kitchen so that it's harder to get the junk. So take a look back here. We saw in my stove, there are peaches and bananas right out on the counter where you can reach them. You won't see any chips or junk food there. The chips and the junk food are in the cupboard or up there or up there. So if you put it farther away where you have to open, some, open a door, dig for it, you won't eat as much of it. Also, my refrigerator, I rearranged it a little bit to show this too. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this completely, but in the front we have strawberries, blueberries, carrots, grapes, squash, feta cheese, way in the back, Coke and Pepsi, um, candy back here. All right. not, on, not on the top shelf where it's easy to, easy to reach, not where you can see it easily. So you have to do a little bit more work to get it. And the best, the best advice I can give you is don't buy any junk food at all. Leave it at the store. That way, if you have, if you really want it, you're going to have to get your car keys and get in your car and go get it. And that will really give you some time to think about it. So that's uh, part two. Look for part three really soon. Bye.